Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. On this channel, we do math tutorials as well as simplifying education technologies using the iPad. Now, today's lesson is very important. I'm going to show you how to use Zoom's whiteboard to do online tutoring. So first thing first, let's just jump into the app. Let's jump into Zoom on the iPad. And what we want to do is we want to start um, a meeting. So start a meeting. Um, and let's just get started. Wait for the meeting to start. Oh, I've done a custom background, but don't don't mind that. It's connecting user internet audio. Okay, now we've started, um, and we've got a little timer here that says we you know we've been kicking off for ten seconds. If I click on that zoom button, I can see my meeting credentials, and then I can share that with all participants in order for them to go ahead and join the meeting. So I'm going to do that on this device here. I'm going to join in. So I'm going to say, hey, join a meeting. Just bear with me, I've got to put in this uh, information here. So once participants have joined in, there's no sign up required. All they need to do is download the application on whatever the mobile device they're using or the desktop or an iPad or whatever they're using. They're going to be asked for a few permissions, uh, allow the app to use the camera, allow the app to uh, use the microphone and let's join with video. Any participant joining your meeting using the credentials that you shared out uh, is going to be in the waiting room. So you need to go to participants and then you need to admit to join the meeting. Now, if you go to this video icon and you click on the plus button, you can see your video as well as um, the participants video. OK, this is the person here. Our intention is to do some online tutoring. So we need to share some content before even scheduling the Zoom meeting. Go to your presentation tool, whatever platform you're using, whether it's Google Slides or Apple Keynotes or PowerPoint, go to that um, application. In my case, I'm just using Apple Keynote here and screenshot all of the presentation notes that you want to share with your students. OK, or you or whoever's uh, participating in the tutoring session. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to screen um, shot all of these. I'm going to take a screenshot of all of my um, presentation slides. OK, so how can I do that? I can hold down the power button and the home button. That's going to take a screenshot or I've got uh, assistive touch here. I can do a screenshot using that. OK, or I can with this is the power tip now using the Apple Pencil from the right hand bottom corner. If you pull in, it will take uh, a screenshot save to photos. So when you're ready and you've taken all the screenshots for the presentation that you want to share, the notes that you want to share, this is what we're going to do. OK, so go back to your Zoom and we're going to share content now. You would assume that we're going to share the whiteboard feature, but we're not. What we're going to do is we're going to share photos. We're going to share a selection of photos of uh, the screenshots that we took for the presentation. OK, so you can select multiple uh, slides here. I'm going to select this one, this one, this one. Um, you know, I've selected four pictures here, four slides, and I'm going to press on done. Now, what this allows us to do then is annotate using the pen tool to annotate on the pictures. OK, so this is like a virtual presentation, but with an annotation pen. So we can annotate on the pictures. The reason I'm suggesting to use Zoom is because Zoom allows you to have your video stream as well as sharing your whiteboard or in this case, photos. We're going to annotate the photos. So if you look at the participating screen, they have the small video feed of your presentation as well as your whiteboard or the photo that we're sharing. OK, so check this out. What we're going to do is we're going to annotate on here. So we're going to talk to our students. Hey, guys, we're going to be doing the square roots of radicals today. When you're done explaining that one photo or that slide, click on the pen tool and then you can go on to the next slide. You're going to have to clear out your annotations and then start over. So here we can start over again. So we can say, hey, guys, um, the square root of the number A is a non-negative, which when squared gives A. And you can go ahead and annotate and uh, explain here. You can even use shapes, OK, uh, rectangles. You can use pens. You can highlight here. Um, and then you can even do a spotlight pen, which is basically a laser pointer. OK, so here, look, the, this is called the square root sign. Once we're done again, we can click on the pen tool. We can scroll to the next slide. OK, erase your annotations. And all the meanwhile, this is being streamed to all the participants of this meeting. This is a very, very powerful tool. I don't know if people are talking about this, but the power tip that I said to you is don't share the whiteboard because when you share whiteboard, you have a plain background. What if I want to annotate on a slide? Well, the way to do that is to go ahead and share photos. You've taken screenshots of your slide. You can click select those and then press on done. And now we can annotate on each of these photos as a presentation for um, 
our students, okay? So this is the best way, the easiest way to do online tutoring uh, or your online classes or even meeting notes by using Zoom's whiteboard aka photos um, feature here, yeah? Because we can annotate using the pen on the photos. Uh, and it's really, really quite impressive. You've got different pen sizes, different colors. Uh, basically, all the basic features that you need to annotate on the photos are available here. Just make sure when you want to transition to the next slide, press on the pen tool, okay? Then you can slide across and then you have to erase all your annotations and then start from fresh, okay? So we can start highlighting things. Another feature is that you can move the toolbar wherever you want for the pen, okay? You can drag that around wherever you want and click on it. Another feature is that participants can simultaneously annotate on your screen, okay? okay? Using the pen tool, I can annotate here and it will show up on my screen. Now, that could be a great advantage when you're collaborating in a meeting and you need participants to annotate on your screen. However, for the most part, if you're teaching a lesson, uh, I think it's going to be the teacher doing most of the annotations and you want to prevent your participants from, uh, you know, doodling and annotating on the screen. So what you can do is press on more, go to meeting settings, and go down to content share, okay, and you can um, take off the annotations uh, so participants can't annotate on the screen. So here now, even, look, there's no pen tool available, I can't annotate, the participant cannot annotate on the screen, which is good, okay, because so you can control who uh, gets to write and share notes on the screen. However, when you do want participants to annotate, you can go ahead and click on meeting settings, go back to um, content share and allow participants to annotate on the screen. Also, another good feature is when you're doing an online tutoring session and you want to ask all your participants, hey guys, um, do you understand the lesson? Do you understand the learning outcome of the objective? They can give a thumbs up. So here, participants can click on more. Uh, sorry, they can click on more here and they can give a thumbs up and it will show on your screen that this particular uh, participant has given a thumbs up and understands the content. Uh, they can also go to more and then click on a clap, which means, hey, everyone's really happy. Uh, maybe um, you've asked a participant a question, they've annotated and then you want to give a clap as well. So you can go to more and you can give a clap and they can see that you've clapped Okay, for them. So you're basically saying to them, uh, good job, well done. Zoom is a very powerful and sophisticated application on the iPad using the whiteboard and the share photo feature so you can annotate and do your online tutoring. If you found that helpful, please like, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It does help the YouTube algorithms to push the video forward. A lot of teachers now are trying to upskill and content like this is very valuable. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. I forgot to mention, make sure that you end the meeting for all so that no one mucks around in.